Now, which features are most at risk? Your contact details, definitely yes. Why I want your contact details? Because that's going to help me in my phishing attack. How do you think phishing attack takes place? Social engineering takes place. Not out of the blue. I have to guess your son's name. I got to guess your friend's name. Okay, how can I befriend you in your Facebook? I got to say, you know what? I know the guy called John. John is a friend of you. And I know Peter. Peter is a friend of John. Hey, why can't I be your friend? Let's chat. So to get the information, I target your mobile phone. So email, SMS messages, audio and video, phone transcriptions, call his Guys, I'm talking about consumers here. I haven't even touched the enterprise sector yet. Enterprise sector is altogether a different story. Companies, employees, okay? So consumers. Theft of corporate data. Contact data have been more direct consequence for the employees and the company. Most mobile phones now have video and still camera. I don't understand. Why the hell I want a camera in my mobile phone? I'm not taking great pictures. How many guys take pictures in a camera? I mean, your phone? You guys do that? How many guys actually have a Sony camera? If people start taking pictures using your phone, Sony will be out of business, the camera division. Okay? So the reason why they add it is because they don't want to be left behind. So companies are moving forward. In it. So what does it mean for hackers? You know what? I can just install something to turn the camera into a spy bug. That is scary. I'm dead scared about that. What if your mobile phone was suddenly uh, uh, you know, used, for tape, used as a tape recorder to sniff you know, the kind of communications, uh, conversations taking, taking place around you? It is scary, guys. Now, here we go. People, feel, oh, this is, I love this. People feel safe on a PC than a mobile device. That's a statistics. Yes, a case study. If you ask anyone, do you think, uh, you know, your computer is safe or mobile phone is safe? I don't trust the mobile phone. Why you don't trust the mobile phone? What is so scary about it? Uh, you know, the biggest, uh, uh, you know, the threat is, what if I were to lose the phone? That's true. Yeah, what if I lose the phone? But I have a password. I have a pin there. Without that pin, nobody can touch it. Oh, really? How many digits is the pin? I think four digits. Three, 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 three. Ah, oh, hackers can guess. Hackers cannot guess it because the maximum tries only ten. When you go out of 10, it wipes out the entire device. You think so? Really? I don't have to try. I have to take the machine apart. And I have to brute force. So it doesn't wipe your hard disk. Okay? So here we go. And, oh God, I hate this. A majority, 87% of people polled for a new study think the home pieces offer better defense against viruses. Now, what is so dangerous about that mobile phone is your GPS coordinates. Okay? How many, how many of you guys have iPhone? Most of you guys have iPhone? Nobody? iPhone 4? iPhone 3GS? Tim Pearson is a big fan of iPhone. All right. Now, what is the scary thing about the iPhone is the GPS coordinates. What does it mean? It's when you take a picture or when you access an application, it's going to ask you something like, uh, hey, you know what? Uh, this application requires so, you know, location-based services. Do you want to allow or disallow? Most of the guys I spoke. Hey, do you understand what the hell that's talking about? What do you mean by uh, allow or disallow? I don't know. I just click allow. How many guys know what it's trying to do? Most of the apps in, you know, when you download from the app store from uh, Apple, ask you this question. What it says is, when you take a picture, it takes, I mean, it uh, also stores the coordinates, GPS location, Latin long, along with the phone as a metadata. And when you transfer this photo to a Flickr or a Facebook, the whole world knows where you are. A which place you took this photo. Now this is scary, guys. Simple example of a threat of a mobile phone, and not many people are aware of this. They go alone. Yes, allow GPS access, allow SMS access, allow email access. Hey, you know, this app requires you know accessing your email store to check you know how many messages you received the past 10 or two, uh, 20 days. Okay, so here we go. This is what the metadata looks like, guys. See this. GPS location, okay? All you have to do is copy this information and paste it to Google Maps. It shows you the exact location. Why? Why are you so scary? Hackers, they love to know your whereabouts, okay? Picture this. <laughs> Can you guess the result of uh, Foursquare? People love to brag about, oh God, you know, I mean, I visit all these sites just for study. And people brag about, hey, I went to a great restaurant in Las Vegas. Its Brazilian food was fantastic. You know, this was a Chinese restaurant. Huh? I loved it. I took my friend as well. Because, you know, the more places they visit, they think they become very popular. If you're, more, if you're popular, 
you get four stars in Facebook. That's it. People are lonely, okay, in the world. So the only way they try to connect is through, you know, social networking. So when that happens, when you check into this site to show which place you visited, which restaurant you visited, you know, when, when you took a trip, people are watching. Okay? What they're watching? Watch this. There was a site called pleaserobme.com. You know what it does? <laughs> you know, it goes to Twitter and Facebook and reads posts and people say, hey, I've been here, I've been to this location, I'm traveling here, I'm on a plane. Oh, if you're on a plane, fly to Chicago, you're not at home then. Then rob me. This guy is not at home, guys. The home is completely locked. Okay, go and have a field day. That's the site, please, robme.com. Okay, have a look at it. Uh, here we go. Now, Sanjay was mentioning about uh, Facebook and threats and so on, guys. I'm telling you, that's, it's, that is the sad truth, whether you like it or not. I like to bombard you guys again, again, and again. The threat of Facebook. Okay, I'm not saying that Facebook technology itself is bad. What we're trying to tell you is, yes, go ahead, enjoy Facebook, connect with your friends, have a field day. But what we're trying to tell you, the security community, is please do not post these things, guys. Don't do that. Don't post your date of birth, your mother's maiden name, your phone number, your vocation countdown, your children's name, what you like, what you dislike. So when, when I'm at, when I'm having dinner with my friends, I mentioned about this. The guys asked me a question, Haja, if I do not post this information, I feel what sports I like, you know, which movies are my favorite, what music I like, how do I expect people to connect with me? That's a valid argument. Okay? Of course, if I don't expose myself, I don't expect friends to talk to me. I'll even knock you on my door and say I'd like to be a friend. So Facebook is the biggest threat for what? Remember this. Phishing attack. That's, that's the greatest threat today, I mean, in 2010. So to send you a phishing target emails, I need to know all this information. So where am I going to get it from? Facebook. It's right there. Now, well, who's watching your Facebook? Not only hackers. That's, it's a misconception. Yes, hackers are watching Facebook. Not only them. Look at this. Employers, stalkers, federal agents, your bosses are watching very, very closely. Okay? Insurance agents, the police, you name it. Even if you safeguard a personal information with friends only settings, they will try to befriend you to get inside their circle. Once, you're in, once they are inside your circle, you are toast, my friend. Kiss it goodbye with your privacy, so called. It doesn't work. So, here we go. It's uh, uh, federal agents, insurance companies, they're all watching every single move. And here's the problem. There is no such thing in Facebook called undo button. Have you seen it? How many guys have seen that button? I post something on the wall. Oops, I made a mistake. Undo, undo, undo. Like in uh, Microsoft Office. It doesn't exist, guys. Once you post the history, it's permanent. The feds can, the FBI can go after you, okay, to make a statement, especially in defamation or posting something wrong, inaccurate, lies, 